Hey everyone, Kingly Nerd here, back at it again with another video. Today I watched the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl character reveal trailer at 0.2x speed. This is gonna be a complete analysis breakdown with any sort of references and easter eggs that we could find. Let's get right into it. But before we talk about the second trailer, I would like to talk about a few things I may have missed in the first trailer, in no particular order. On the junkyard stage, you can see a monster chilling on this side of the screen. Danny's glide towards the end of the trailer is very similar to the one seen in Nicktoons Unite. The turtles have their moves based off their old arcade games. And the box ghost can be seen right here. In my last video, I mentioned how in this scene, Raphael seemed to be skateboarding, but I was proven wrong. Paul Duncan has brought to my attention that this is not Raphael, it is instead Mondo Gecko. So shout out to you and I thank you for your good eyes. Maybe I shouldn't have watched a lower quality version of the trailer, so I apologize for getting this wrong. I'll make sure in the future I will not make this kind of mistake again. With that out of the way, let's jump right into the second trailer. First things first, the trailer begins at Jellyfish Fields. Next, we see the Urkin Ship stage, followed by a voiceover by Ian Sinclair. If you love peanut butter and jelly. Now, for those of you who don't know who that is, Sinclair is a voice actor and a voice director. You might have heard his voice as Whis from Dragon Ball Super, or even as Space Dandy. Next, Powder Toast Man is shown patting his buttocks. God! In the background, there seems to be a bowl of shredded cardboard from the Ren and Stimpy episode, Hair of the Cat. So this is what I'm reduced to. There is also a dead fish that looks very similar to the one seen in the Haunted House episode. Gary the Snail is seen at the bottom of the Jellyfish Field stage. And next, we see the Foot Ninjas and a Channel 6 helicopter patrolling the New York City rooftops. Below this Foot Ninja is a Psy. I wonder who it belongs to? In the same stage, we see Michelangelo throwing a pizza. Up next, Lucy Loud appears out of a cloud of smoke above the Loud House. Lincoln also appears, wiping his arm right next to Lana and Lola's room. Zim then appears using the arms out of his backpack. And Danny Phantom is standing on Vanzilla. Real quick, look at the amazing detail on Danny's costume. You can see like an octagon shaped pattern on it. It's very cool. Next, we get a few dramatic shots of both SpongeBob and Patrick, but not before long we see Reptar posing with his cereal. The pose here is very similar to the one shown on the actual Reptar cereal box. Reptar is also chilling next to the Harmonic Convergence. This appeared in the 12th episode of Book 2 in The Legend of Korra. The trailer even makes a reference to the Indian head test pattern, which was introduced way back in 1939. Next, the trailer gives us a silhouette of SpongeBob and Sandy, which is based off these images. PTM is charging up his hyper corrosive croutons. He's ready to punish Spongebob for being off stage. Spongebob grabs onto the ledge of a plate and does an edge attack. The plate on this stage also has red hair on it. This could also be a reference to the episode I mentioned earlier, Hair of the Cat. Next we see Danny and Nigel fighting the Ghost Zone stage. Nigel claps his hands together and we finally see a move from Danny Phantom. Now this might be a stretch, but I believe this is a reference to the Ultimate Enemy video game on the Game Boy Advance. If Danny is around level 5, he can extend his combos to a glowing fist as he dashes across his enemies. Next we see Mikey and Lincoln fighting at the junkyard. 
and it looks like Mikey got revenge on Lincoln for spiking him in the other trailer. Next, the trailer splits up into four sections and shows off multiple characters. Helga in particular is standing in a never before seen stage. It looks like the characters will be traveling around Hillwood, the city that Hey Arnold mostly takes place in. And I'm not sure if this is an error on the trailer's part, but in this shot, Leonardo's symbol is mirrored. It gets fixed in this very next frame, however. And real quick, I'd like to point out how detailed Zim looks here. The model in this shot looks very similar to this image right here. Moving right along, Spongebob flips his nose and his whole body starts bouncing. Patrick looks up and seemingly starts to sleep. This might be a reference to this scene in Naughty Nautical Neighbors. E minor. Yeah, E minor, alright, yeah! Sandy is at the Flying Dutchman stage, Mikey is eating a pizza at the Technodrome, and we can even see a Krang hiding in the background. Nigel is looking through binoculars in a jungle stage, Oblina makes a face with red eyes, we even get to see more of Hillwood. Danny performs a beckoning sign, which is strikingly similar to the one he did in Pirate Radio. And Fangs the Bat circles around Lucy, which looks very similar to the Navi taunt. Next, Lincoln uses the water gun that first appeared in the episode One Flew Over the Loud House. In this episode, Lisa gives it to her siblings filled with chicken noodle soup. But thankfully for this game, Lincoln uses water instead. The water gun seems to function like the splatter shot Inkling uses. And that's pretty much all the details I can find. The end of the trailer tells us that we're going to get two new characters revealed at Gamescom's Future Games Show. So who do you think these characters will be? Let me know in the comment section below who you'd like to see in this game, and I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.